21st century witnesses the collapse of hundreds of portrait studios, the plummet in camera sales and the number of photographers. Some people doubt about the upcoming destruction of photography. Is photography dead? To answer that question, a look at photography from the first day till now is needed. This video will show that photography still performs the same functions even when its manifestation is changing. The availability of the cameras give equality for everyone to approach photography, which can be regarded as a threat but also motivation for professional photographers. In 2001, Sontag stated that photography has played its role as a social right a defense against anxiety and a tall power. But that everyone has cameras on their phone has changed the way photography serves its functions. For hundreds of years, photography is still a tool to set moments into photos for future reference. The difference is that people change from hanging several physical pictures in the walls to saving thousands of photos on their phones. The convenience of technology encourages people to take various individual pictures, shifting photography from a cultural right of family life to personal use. Teenagers and young adults who are growing up with a variety of digital media devices have used cameras for live communication and friend group building, while older people tend to use them as a memory tool for their family. Although taking photos has always been a means of experience sharing and proof of participation, the way people share them has changed. Cameras now have served as a tool to capture everyday experience rather than just special events. We have changed from showing photos to friends into sharing them digitally and globally to social media. Sontag indicated that the technology era creates an unavoidable form of mental pollution by turning humans into unique junkies. However, this claim is unjustifiable because she ignored the benefits that technology provides for photography and society. From different view, Daesh stated that the change in personal photography is a part of complex technological, social, and cultural transformation. Photography as a tool of power can impact minds and make changes in people's behaviors. In 1972, Vietnamese photographer Nick Wood captured a screaming naked girl escaping from the palm drop. His photo of the atrocities of Vietnamese war sparked worldwide objection to the war, then catching the attention of President Richard Nixon. In 1973, he won Pulitzer Prize for the photo, and America stopped involving in the Vietnamese war. The power of photographs along with the internet has made photography much more powerful. That power now is for not only professional photojournalists but also the amateurs. Giving people who like knowledge about photography the power of its influence, this change has created a threat for professionals. Answering related questions to the Guildian, Antonio Omos, the award-winning photographer held a positive view that professionals would always have their position in the profession because they have skills, experience, and knowledge. The digital era raised the competitiveness that can motivate professionals to distinguish themselves and create art that not everyone can do. As almost also said, just because you got a micro professor in your computer doesn't make you a writer. And just because you got an Instagram app on your phone, you aren't a great photographer. In the first century, witnesses the collapse of hundreds of